Hi, I'm Tom Long and I'm here to explain how to hook up a Casio WK6500 workstation to a, an iPad using GarageBand with nothing more than a camera connector kit and a USB cable. So the first thing that you'll need of course is a USB cable with a standard connection on one end and um, on the other end you'll plug the USB into the Apple camera connector and then you'll press function on the workstation that brings up the main menu but you'll be on page one and that's not the page you want so press the right arrow key to move to page two of the menu and as you can see that reveals uh, the option to get to the MIDI menu so hit the down arrow and you'll scroll down from volume to MIDI and then to open MIDI hit the enter button and now we want to change that gives you the MIDI sub menu we want to change local control from on to off and accompaniment from off to on okay so now what I'm going to do is hit the function key one more time and use my arrow keys to get back to uh, the MIDI menu and hit enter, hit the enter button and I'm going to go back down to um, accompaniment out and turn it back on by scrolling the wheel clockwise. So right now we've got the local control turned off but we have the accompaniment turned so that it goes out and now I'm going to hit the accompaniment on off button and you can see here on the screen that it says that the accompaniment is now turned on but when I hit the keys no sound whatsoever because the control and the sound has now been passed over to the iPad and I've opened up GarageBand and now we're going to start a new song so I hit the plus sign select new song and here you can go through and pick whatever instrument you want the um, keyboard to, to play. So I want it to be a keyboard, so I'm going to pick that. And now it shows up on the screen as a keyboard. And uh, the selection is Grand Piano, but I can go in and change that to any one of a number of different keyboard uh, instruments, grand piano, classical grand, electric piano, whirly, soul organ, classic rock organ, heavy metal organ, or smooth clav. I'm just going to stick with grand piano for this demonstration. And now I'll pick uh, my tools, and that's going to let me choose whether or not I want a metronome, a count in, a sound for the uh, count. I can set my tempo. I want the tempo uh, on this to be exactly the same as the tempo that's set on the keyboard. Same thing with the key and the time signature. That's especially important if I've got the accompaniment playing out. Um, so I'm satisfied with that. And I'm going to go back to my keyboard though. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but my tempo is set at 120. So I go over to the tempo buttons and run it down till my tempo on the keyboard is at 110. And then I'm going to pick a different rhythm here. Um, I'm going to go so hit the rhythm key again. Go to E28. The boogie woogie. And now. I'm going to hit my synchro key so it'll start playing when I play. And we'll give a count in by hitting the record button right there. And now I'm going to play the accompaniment. Stop the recording. And if if I touch this little button up here, it'll take me now to the track view and hit play. And there's the count in.
You can see that it recorded it and it's playing the accompaniment just fine.